Explorers is a field trip program for fifth grade students. We get students from throughout the state of Delaware. Um, it's tied in with the state standards for fifth grade, so when they come out here, they're learning about things that they're required to learn about in the classroom. And this is a hands-on field trip. We tell the kids they're the scientists out here. So they get to go to six different eco stations and do an activity at, at each station where they're using some of the information that they learned in the classroom and applying it out in the field in the actual salt marsh. We have a station where they catch fish and learn how to identify them using a, di a dichotomous key. Now what famous fish do we know that has a dorsal fin? When you see it in the ocean, you want to jump. Go ahead, Brady. Shark! A shark! There's a macroinvertebrate station where they collect macroinvertebrates and identify them and learn about their adaptations. So if it's an invertebrate, no spine, no bones inside the body. That's a huge category of creatures. There's a water testing station where they do water chemistry tests using different types of technology. So what do you think? Is this water healthy for the fish and other animals? Yeah. Yeah. Well, wait a minute. You guys are scientists today, right? Yeah. And scientists aren't allowed to guess. We got to have proof. Put that in the water and slowly stir it around. And you guys can go ahead and get our dissolved oxygen reading for us. So they're out here for the day. It's a, it's a really good way for them to get outdoors in nature and apply what they're learning in the classroom and science. This dichotomous key. Dichotomous is just a big word for two choices. We're going to Acid. identify it by looking at that what bin? Dorsal, Dorsal bin. Okay. Okay. And one of the questions on the student evaluation is what made you feel most like a scientist? And they'll pick, it depends on the kid, they'll pick any of the eco stations, but a lot of them do pick the water testing because they got to manipulate all that equipment and, you know, really see the readings and, you know, do a quality test of the water on the day they were here. Because they do have to make a little bit more effort to get out of the classroom and come out in the marsh. But once they do, they realize how much their kids enjoy it and how much information they get. And they'll just remember what they learned so much better out here than they would if they just read it in a book or did it in the classroom. We hope that they're going to take away an appreciation of the value of this salt marsh and the wetlands in Delaware. Plus, we want them to know it's here. It's a beautiful part of Delaware. And we want them to have that feeling that this is my state. I own this. Here. And see how it's like a shadow? So we tip this up in the sunlight. That's what we're doing. Yeah, it's yeah, moving. We got something. It's like a okay. whale looking snail. Yeah. Now, does he have a fin at the bottom and a long body? Yeah. Yes. I caught an eel.